Good morning everybody, Chief Man Corey here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about rope. The difference between rope and lines. A little bit about the construction of different types of rope, as well as various types of knots and how we use them here aboard the Schooner Virginia. What is rope? Rope is a group of fibers, yarns, or strands that are twisted or braided into a larger and stronger form. At the smallest level, individual fibers are twisted into yarns. Those yarns are twisted into strands, and the strands are twisted into rope. The most common twisted rope is three-stranded and right-hand laid. Right-hand laid means the strands are twisted to the right. Braided rope has many variations, such as 12-strand single braid and 24-plate double braid. A line is a rope with a job. At the moment, this coil is just a rope, but if I decided to use it for a specific purpose, it would become a line. All of these ropes made off to this pin rail have jobs, so we refer to them as lines. The different parts of a rope are the working end, which is the part of the rope that's being used to tie a knot, the standing end, which is the part of the rope that's not being used to tie a knot, a loop, which is a circle formed by passing the working end over it or under itself, and a bite, which is any section of the rope that creates a U-shape. There are five major types of knots used on Skin Virginia. Loops, hitches, bends, stoppers, and lashings. Loops are used to create an attachment point and are usually made by tying a rope to itself. Examples include the figure eight, bullen, and alpine butterfly. Hitches are used to tie a rope to an object. Examples include the clove hitch, rolling hitch, and anchor hitch. Bends are used to tie rope together. Examples include the square or reef knot, sheet bend, and zeppelin bend. Stoppers are used to prevent the bitter end of a line from being pulled through a block or pulley. Examples include the overhand, double overhand, and figure eight. Lashings are used to tie objects together and include round seizings and mousings. Thanks for tuning in to Rope Basics. Please join us next time when we dig into the knots that were presented here and how to tie them.